This is a public service announcement on the importance of not being seen. Zoe from the United Kingdom is hiding and I'm going to ask her to stand up. Zoe, can you please stand up? As you can see, Zoe is very easy to see. She must learn a lesson in the importance of not being seen. This demonstrates the value of not being seen. Now, Zoe is wearing camouflage trousers. Her legs are much harder to see. However, her torso is still easily distinguishable. Now, Zoe is wearing a camouflage top. However, the block of solid colour on her chest means she's still easy to be seen. Now, Zoe is wearing a camouflage vest. This conceals her torso to a much greater degree. However, Zoe's head and face are still clearly visible. Zoe is now hiding. She has learned the first lesson of how not to be seen. This time, Zoe is wearing a camouflage hat. This conceals her hair. However, the skin tone of her face is still easily distinguishable. Ah, Zoe has run away. She had learned the second lesson of not being seen. Don't stand still and allow yourself to be shot. Zoe is now concealing her face. As you can see, her skin tone and facial features are much harder to see at this distance. And here, Zoe is standing still. Surrounded by woodland, she is much harder to see. Now, Zoe is crouched down. She is much harder to see. Can you see Zoe? She is very hard to see. This concludes our film on the importance of not being seen. There you go folks, I like, hope you liked this video. I didn't know any of way this tree really wasn't as stable as I thought it was going to be. I really hope you liked the video. I didn't have any other way of showing off this really cool camouflage outfit that I've come together with. It's basically a combination of mossy oak and real tree camouflage. And although I went for a bit of comedy in this video, it is April Fools. But I hope you've seen that this camouflage is quite effective. I want to say a really big thank you to the Flying Warden. Flying Warden's a personal friend of mine, he's also a follower on Twitter. And I'll link in his Twitter into the video description below. But he basically posts about his family and house rabbits and aviation. Massive aviation fan. But it was his idea to parody what we parodied for this video. He picked up on it. Well done. And also, the Flying Warden provided the narration for this video. So, thank you so much, Flying Warden. It's really, really appreciated. If you guys liked the video, consider liking it on YouTube. Let's know I'm doing a good job. And if you really, really liked it, consider subscribing to the channel. I'm uploading uh, another video about once every month at the minute, and that's a schedule I'm hoping to keep to. If you want to see what I'm doing in between videos, and chat to other followers, and basically see what I'm doing, then there's a group on Facebook called Survival Mistakes, and I'm also active on Twitter as at Zoe Survival. And if you are one of my followers from Twitter or Facebook, thank you so much guys for your engagements. Uh, I reckon I really do have some of the best fans in the world, and you guys really do make it worth doing. So, that's all from me, and as ever, there's only one way I can end the video, and that's for me to say to you, get out there and do the impossible every day. Thank you.